The Duchess of Edinburgh enjoyed a lovely walk at the Royal Ascot Hotel with a very special companion, her father Christopher Rhys Jones. Standing hand in hand in the royal enclosure on the third day of the annual horse racing event, the father-daughter duo seemed to be in high spirits as they watched the royal carriage procession before getting into most of the action on the racetrack. The 58 Sophie, 58, looked beautiful in a white dress with a floral print, while her 92-year-old father looked chic in a gray morning suit. The Duchess' white midi dress featured a pressed pansies print in sunset hues, three-quarter sleeves with ruffles, a V-neckline and a neatly pinned belt. She completed the glamour with a pale cornflower woven hat with pale yellow pansies, thin foliage and a round shape King Charles and Queen Camilla joined them, as well as other members of the royal family, including Lady Sarah Chatto, Princess and Zara Tyndall. This year's event follows the late Queen's tradition of supporting Royal Ascot, where they were joined by members of the royal family and close friends in a traditional carriage procession. On Wednesday, the Duchess of Edinburgh visited Royal Ascot with her niece, Zara, for a day of racing. Prince Edward's wife wore a sky-white dress with a spectacular bow sticking out from beneath the round neckline of the gown, the number also included button-down details, long sleeves, and a waist belt. Duchess Sophie completed her race day aesthetic with a pale pink wide-brimmed hat that sat atop her blonde curls. She wore her hair pulled back together to show off and radiant beauty that was perfect for summer. A pair of diamond earrings gave her outfit a fair dose of dazzle as she waved to the crowd from her horse-drawn carriage. Although Sophie doesn't talk much about her parents, last year Duchess Sophie touched on the subject of grief after her mother Mary Rhys Jones died in 2005. While speaking at the annual meeting of the National Federation of Women's Institutes, the royal touched on the pain of losing a loved one. Offering royal fans a rare glimpse into her personal life, the royal explained, to this day I miss her very much, and there are times when I hear music that she loved or do something that I know she wanted to hear about, which makes her early departure very difficult.